What if I told you that you could copy a complete iOS app that's generating over $200,000 per month without writing a single line of code? Now, I know that sounds impossible, but in this screenshot, you can see proof of exactly how much revenue this existing app is pulling in from the App Store. And here's the crazier part. I'm going to show you how to copy this exact same app using nothing but Google's Gemini. Now, this is Quizard, an AI-powered homework helper that students use to get instant answers to their questions. It's a simple concept, really, that's generating massive revenue every single month for the original creators. But here's what's going to blow your mind, because I didn't spend months learning to code. I didn't hire expensive developers, nor did I need any technical background whatsoever. I literally just described what I wanted to build, and Google's Gemini created the entire app for me. So in the next 15 minutes here, I'm going to walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process of how to copy this successful app from scratch. We're going to use Gemini to handle all the coding, to design the user interface and set up the backend functionality, and even prepare it for App Store submission. So that by the end of this video, you and I are going to have a complete understanding of how AI can build entire applications for us by copying proven successful apps. And you are going to have your own version ready to potentially generate similar revenue. Now, this is the future of app development and it's happening right now. So let's go ahead and dive in. So just a quick note here later on in the video, I am going to tell you more about how to convert the app that we're going to build to publish it to the App Store. And if you can't wait, go ahead and check out the link in the description below for more information. Okay, so every app starts as an idea, but before anything can actually work, you do need to see it. Layout, navigation, and structure matter a lot, especially for an app that students will use on their phones. So before jumping into AI features or problem-solving logic, it does help to get a clear visual foundation in place so we understand how users will move through the app and where everything else belongs. Our first objective here is to prompt Google AI Studio to create our project and build the front end with placeholders. So this is what I'm going to tell Google's Gemini AI. Hey Google, please create a homework helper web application. Make this a mobile responsive app and create four main sections and a nav bar. The dashboard, history, learn, and quizzes sections. Create placeholders for each of the section's contents for now, as we will build the actual functionality of the application later. And then we just wait for Google AI Studio to finish the prompt. Once it's done, you can see that Google AI Studio has generated the base design for the web app. And the four main sections are already laid out, each with placeholder content that helps visualize how our app will be structured. So, all right, I'll click through each section here so you can see how everything is organized. And then let's try to switch over to the mobile view. Since this app is meant to be used primarily on phones, that mobile layout is what we'll be focusing on as we continue building out the rest of the features. And now that the interface is in place, it is time to give users a way to actually interact with the app. A homework helper only becomes useful once students can bring their own questions into it, and that starts with uploading or capturing images. What I want to do here is to set up that basic input flow so that the app can accept real homework content. Here, I'll ask Google AI Studio to start building the upload and camera functionality directly into the dashboard. Great, now please create an image upload and camera functionality button in the dashboard. So whenever an image is uploaded or taken, show the photo taken as a preview modal. Once Google AI Studio is done generating the update, you'll notice here the upload button is now active in our dashboard. So let's try it out by uploading a couple of quiz images, one for math and another for biology, just to see how it behaves with different types of questions. And as soon as the image is selected here, it pops up in a preview modal, which makes it easy to double check before moving forward. Right now, this part is doing exactly what it needs to do. The app can accept images, show a clear preview, and hold on to that input. Nothing is being analyzed yet, but the groundwork is there for us, and that's what matters at this stage. Okay, so this part is really the reason why the app exists. Uploading images is useful, but without intelligence behind it, it's just storage. 
So the goal here is to turn a photo of homework into something that actually helps a student understand their homework instead of just staring at it. So I'm going to have Google AI Studio wire Google Gemini into the app as the problem solving engine. And the setup needs to be flexible enough to handle different subjects, different question styles, and different levels of difficulty. For this, I'll use a prompt like this. Now, please incorporate Google Gemini for the AI scanning feature. We are building a homework helper application. As such, extensively configure the AI integration for the application to accept a wide variety of potential problems and questions from a wide range of subjects. Whenever an image is scanned, show the answers of the scanned image as well as the reason as to why. For more complex problems, such as mathematical problems, extend this furthermore to help give insight to the users. And with that, since everything is now connected, I want to test this out. So let's use an image of a biology quiz. And as you can see, there you go. The app scans the image, processes the questions, and then returns the correct answers along with explanations that break down the reasoning behind each one. So now let's try to run another test using a math question next. And just like with the biology quiz, it also shows the steps needed to solve the problem. Seeing both examples back to back does make it clear that the AI adapts to the type of question without requiring any extra input from the user, which is exactly what we want to happen. So here the app is finally turning into a real homework helper. The upload process stays the same, but instead of stopping at a preview, the app now turns those images into clear answers and explanations that students can actually learn from. Are you ready to turn this Google Gemini app that we're about to build into cold hard cash? Because you are about to learn how to build an app with Google's Gemini. But here's what separates the builders from the money makers publishing and monetizing the app. So while most people stop at, ooh, I built something cool, you are about to discover how to turn your Gemini creations into a real income stream. Inside my exclusive school community, you get step-by-step -step walkthroughs of submitting and publishing your Gemini app to the App Store in minutes, not months, my complete AI app profit system, the exact blueprint that I use to build and monetize apps, and a lot more. This isn't just about building apps, it's about building a business. So if you are genuinely interested in making money online, check out the link in the description and join my exclusive school community to secure your spot down below. But after watching the AI solve questions, there is one obvious problem left to fix because once a student uploads multiple assignments, there needs to be a way to go back and then review past work without re-uploading everything. Now, what I want to happen here is that every question that gets scanned and solved should also be saved automatically. So say someone uploads a quiz today, they should be able to open the app tomorrow and still see it there, along with the answers and the explanations. To make that happen, I'm going to ask Google AI Studio to create a dedicated history section that logs each scanned image as soon as results are generated. So let's tell Google AI, now create the history section. Whenever an image is scanned and results are shown, automatically log it in the history section of the application. Have the scan results, auto tag the scanned output and create the appropriate filters so it's easier for the user to navigate with the scanned content. Now we do need to test it, so I'll scan a quiz again and let the app process it like before. And when I open the history section here, the new entry shows up immediately. It is already tagged and tapping into it brings up the full solution, along with all the explanations generated earlier. Now, this is what I'm talking about because the app definitely is far more practical now. It's no longer just a one time scanner since it is now acting like a personal study archive where past questions and answers are always easy to find. All right, so scanning and solving homework is powerful, but sometimes students don't just want answers. They want to actually study and prepare ahead of time. And that's what the learn section here is for. So this part of the app gives users a place to review topics, explore subjects and build understanding without having to upload anything else. Here, I'll ask Google AI Studio to create a dedicated learn section and then populate it with built-in study material. 
The goal is to make this feel like a structured library rather than random notes covering multiple subjects and difficulty levels so that our users can find what they need quickly. So let's send this prompt to Google AI. Great job so far. Now please create the learn section. Add a substantial amount of learning and study content locally across a wide range of subjects in different levels. Make sure this is a comprehensive library. And with that, once the section is generated, you can see here that the Learn tab is now filled up with content. There are structured topics across different subjects. They're laid out in a way that's easy to browse and to explore. Now keep in mind that this isn't just filler, it's really meant to be a real study resource users can come back to whenever they need a refresher or they want to get ahead. Studying content is one side of learning, but testing yourself is what really shows whether things are sticking, right? So I want to add here a quizzes feature that is meant to give users a quick way to check their understanding across different subjects without the pressure of a full assignment. So I'm going to have Google AI Studio build a dedicated quizzes section here that works differently from the Learn tab. I'm going to also ask for a small widget at the top so users can easily revisit quizzes they've already taken. Here's a prompt I'm going to use. Awesome job. Now please create the quizzes section. Unlike the Learn section where it's all static learning material, here, create a comprehensive and dynamic interactable set of quizzes ranging across various difficulties and subjects. Create a widget at the top of the section where the user can access their quiz history. And after everything is generated from that prompt, you can see a wide selection of quizzes covering different subjects. So let's try to open one of them and go through answering the questions ourselves so you can see how it behaves. Once the quiz is completed, the app shows the final score along with the correct answers and clear explanations for each question. And as you can see, the flow feels natural and it's easy to follow. I think this is really useful not just for practice, but also for reviewing mistakes and understanding where improvements can be made. Now, before we move on, I do want to see so far how everything works together in one flow. So let's go ahead and walk through the app the way someone else would actually use it. Jump between sections and interact with it naturally to show how all the pieces connect. All right, let's start by scanning the same math question from earlier and then letting the app process it. After a moment, the answers do come back correctly, which is important, along with the explanation, just like we saw before. And from there, we'll open the history section so we can see how that scan was saved automatically. And the question shows up right away, already organized as well and easy to open again if I want to review it later. Next, I'm going to jump over to the learn section here and scroll through the available content. And you can see how it's laid out by subject and by level, making it easy to browse and use as a study resource instead of just a reference. And finally, let's head into the quizzes section and run through a few sample quizzes. As I do answer the questions, the app tracks my progress, it shows me the results, and then it explains the answers at the end. Everything ties together smoothly here so far. Scanning, reviewing past questions, studying topics, and testing my knowledge all live in one place, and now the app is fully built out and it's ready to be used. Now here's the thing, because building the app is the fun part, and after that, we do need to find a way to share and use this app outside of Google AI Studio. Publishing the app will give us a live version that anyone can open. And more importantly here, it gives us the link we're going to need for the App Store setup later on. So here's what we're going to do. Let's head over to the top right corner of Google AI Studio here and click the Deploy App button. It's the one with the rocket icon. After clicking it, Google AI Studio asks which Google Cloud project should be used to host the app since deployment runs through Google Cloud. For this walkthrough, I'm going to select an existing project that I already have set up called Taskmaster. After selecting the project, I'll click Deploy App and let the process run. After a few seconds, the deployment completes and the app is officially live. A public link is generated and we need to copy that link since we're going to need it for the next step outside of Google AI Studio. And that's it. The app is deployed and it's ready to be used. So everything that we've seen up to this point lives inside of Google AI Studio. The app works, the logic is solid, and the link is live. From a build perspective, well, the job is done, but we can't really stop here. 
what comes next isn't about adding more features, it's about turning this into an app that people can actually install, use every day, and yes, even monetize if that is your goal. And that's exactly where we're heading next. If you want to follow along and see how this becomes a real product, check out the link in the description below and join my school community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.